So I'm just uh, sitting at home working on a pair of IFR goggles that I uh, bought about 10 years ago. They were really cool, but they stopped working. So uh, let me show you what happened. So the, these were the e-foggers made by uh, Sporty's Pilot Shop under a license. And uh, I thought they were really cool. It used that little piece of uh, plastic that when you apply electrical charge, it goes clear. But... It stopped working many years ago, and uh, so I found a place. I had to buy this actual big sheet, and then I cut it down so that I could put it into here, and then now I just have to fix it into the glasses, the foggles themselves. But when I hit that button, they go clear, and when I hit it again. So when they're not applying a charge, so you're not running the battery dead for them to be all smoky, and then when you hit the little button, they go clear. Now, what I love about this design is that if you've done eye fire work, or work before and you're dealing with a hood, you got to reach up, deal with it. You got to flip it up, you got to take it off, you got to, whatever the mechanism is, you have to mess with it. And when you're in the plane um, at 200 feet above the ground and they're telling you, okay, you just broke out, you don't like having to take your hands off the plane and deal with this, this item that's on you, or you know, lift your head and look up underneath where it is. This was really cool because actually the instructor could control it with that little remote he could hit the button so basically you could have these on be comfortable not be having to mess with anything and you take off and you're climbing and let's say you hit 250 feet above the ground and he could just hit the button and say okay you just went into the clouds and now you can complete your flight all your instrument training and stuff and then wherever minimums are he can take and hit this little button and make you suddenly see the runway or he could take you right down to minimums and say, oh, okay, what do, you, what do you do? So if he doesn't hit that button and you don't see the runway, you know that you have to do a go around. You have to, to do a best approach. So uh, glad to have these things uh, working again. So here you can see them in action. Of course, I need to get a longer cord, but uh, there they are in IFR conditions. And there I can see again. So now I'm just going to get the hot glue gun or some other uh, source. I've got to stick this uh, plastic film onto these goggles and then work on uh, getting the wire going. Bye.